Hi guys, welcome to Union College. My name is Haley Ellison and I'm an admissions counselor here. We can't wait to show you around our beautiful campus. Taylor's outside and she'll show you guys around. Good morning, my name is Taylor and I'm a student ambassador here at Union. I'll be giving you your tour today and we're gonna start outside of Speed Hall. This is our admissions office, our business office, anything to do with financial aid or your admissions um, will occur in this office. We refer to it as our one-stop shop because you can come in here for any of your business or admissions needs and pretty much get it taken care of right here. So next we're gonna make our way to the Legacy Walk. And right now we are passing Ramsey Circle. Um, when you come to Union, you'll be given a medallion and you will go through what they call the circle ceremony. Um, at the end of your time at Union, you will get to present that medallion to the person that you feel has impacted you the most and that will occur here at Ramsey Circle. So now we have made our way to the Legacy Walk. And at the Legacy Walk, you'll find tons of bricks with names of very gracious donors who have given to Union College in the past, um, as well as the fact that the Legacy Walk leads to Centennial Hall, which is our oldest building on campus. And as you can probably see, the building behind me is Centennial Hall. This building was, originally it burnt in 1905, but it was rebuilt in 1907. Um, it is now considered historical. There are a few classrooms in this building, but as for now, it's under um, a little bit of renovation. On the bottom of this building is our football locker room. Um, and then there are just like I said, some classrooms and stuff, but right now those are off limits as we renovate this building due to its age, but hopefully soon everybody can enjoy the beauty of this building. It's personally my favorite building on campus. Um, over here to my left is our bell. This is our library, it's the Abigail E. Weeks Memorial Library. Inside the library you're going to find a lot of very useful resources such as computers, study rooms that can be rented out for private like study sessions, um, tons of books obviously, um, printers, this is where you can come to have some of your um, like classwork or paperwork that you might need printed, you can have that printed here. But personally my favorite resource in the library is the study rooms, they're a great place to come and study with a group of friends. They're really quiet and um, very private, so you can get a lot done peacefully in the library. And this is the Edward Black Technology Center. Um, in this building, there are a few resources that are available for um, communication students in this building. There are some green screens that they get to um, practice like recordings with. But as for this building, I've 
I personally am not in here a lot. I'm not a communications major, but if you are, you'll probably be in here a lot. It's one of our newer buildings on campus. It's a really nice building with some really nice equipment and things for our communication majors. You might notice the rock beside me. Um, this rock really is just a great way for our students on campus to get to know each other. We're having a Student Ambassador Rush Week coming up here in a few weeks and one of our activities is going to be to paint the rock. So every time you walk by this rock it might be something different. It's always getting painted and loved on by our students. But um, it's a very fun activity to do in a group of friends is to paint the rock. So also behind me is our Student Center. Our Student Center has so many resources that you will use almost daily, if not daily. Um, the first and most important is our cafeteria. Inside our cafeteria, um, it's a buffet style. You'll be given your meal card when you come here with um, the amount of meals that you choose. As a freshman, you're given the biggest meal plan, which is 19 to 23 meals a week. You use that card, um, it gets you in, buffet style, all you can eat. Um, as for other resources in the Student Center, there is the Campus Safety Office. They're open 24-7, every day of the year, always there. Um, when you come here, you'll be given the number to call that you can call them at any time. They can help you with anything from getting locked out of your room to, um, they can even walk you back to your room if you're feeling like uncomfortable. It's late at night, you don't wanna walk alone. Um, they're there for anything. Um, also in the bottom of the Student Center is our post office. You'll be given a combination when you get here. Um, that's just where you'll get your mail. Um, and then when you, we also have the campus store in the bottom and that's um, for like game day apparel, union apparel. It's got all kinds of cute shirts and hats. Um, but when you come upstairs in the student center, there is a lobby that has like a game room. Um, there's some, a few pool tables, games and TVs up there. It's a cool place to hang out with friends. Um, as, where, as well as the office of our dean and our housing director. And then another meal option is upstairs in the student center, it's called the kennel. And you will be given, um, with your meal plan, you get a certain amount of flex dollars that you can use and spend at places like the kennel or some of our other coffee locations on campus. That way you don't have to pay out of pocket. You can just spend those um, dollars that come with your meal plan. So now we're in the front of our student center and we're also coming up on the football field. I'm a football manager here at Union, so I spend a lot of my time on this field and in the press box, um, filming, doing game day prep, and everything to do with football. So for our sports, if you're a student here, all games are free, football, basketball, volleyball, everything included, all games are free. Um, we also usually do student sections. I know for the football games, they call it the dog pound. And there's always an area marked off in the bleachers for our students to come and support the team. We are now at our Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Gym. This was once Union College's only gym on campus. Um, obviously now we have a much larger gym to support our growing student population as well as our fan base. But now this building 
is used for um, practices. There's a really nice weight room at the bottom that if you play a sport, you'll be in there a lot. Um, this building also used to have a pool in the basement, but obviously now that's the weight room. But I love this building. It's one of my second, probably my second favorite building on campus. Um, and I just love the history behind it and how to see how Union has grown over the years that we could have went from a small gym like this to the one we have now that seats about 2,200 people. I think that's really awesome. So now we'll head over towards the Ramsey Science Center. This is Miller Hall. Traditionally, this building houses our communications and business office classes. But other than that, there may be a few like freshman requirements or a few math classes in here. And now we are outside a Ramsey Science Center. Um, this building was formerly a hospital in Knox County, but now it has been taken over by the college. And this is where all of your um, science related classes will be from chemistry and biology to athletic training um, and a few other classes like that. But in this building, you'll find tons of labs, um, tons of classrooms. It's one of our bigger buildings on campus, um, as well as a coffee location called Molecules that uh, usually is open in the morning hours like for classes but as a chemistry major I spend pretty much every class in this building I don't ever leave it um, I love this building and um, there's some really great professors in here and I've learned a lot from this building alone it's my favorite class building on campus um, as I've spent most of my time here but this is also where our School of Nursing is for anybody interested in nursing. All of your classes will be in this building for nursing and if you are going into like pre-med or anything like that, you're going to be spending lots of time here. You're going to have lots of classes here and hopefully you'll love it as much as I do. And to my right here, we are passing the president's house, actually.
Um, we are making our way towards Sharp Academic Center, the building behind me. Um, in this building, there's a number of resources that you will utilize while you are here at Union. Um, for one, this building houses our education departments. Um, another important thing about this building is just the number of classrooms. You're most likely not gonna leave Union without having a class or two at least in this building. This building also houses our tutoring center. Um, this, our tutoring center has tutoring for all majors. You just set up an appointment like online with your tutor and you're, it's a free resource and they are pretty much, about, they'll give you their hours, but they're available a lot of the time and you can come in this building to get help with your classes. Um, another cool uh, resource in this building is our second coffee location on campus. It's called Conversations. Hours will be sent out like via email about when that is open, but it also works on our flex dollar system. So you can use your student ID like meal plan to get coffee here in the mornings. Um, this building is named after Philip Sharp, who was actually a Nobel Peace Prize winner that went to Union. Um, so this building is very important and all of his work is very important to us. This concludes our virtual tour. If you are ready to see the campus in person or ready to apply, go to www.unionky.edu and we look forward to seeing you. Go Bulldogs.